in this assignment, uh, I would like you to uh, use a function to create your own function to calculate uh, the upper and lower bound of uh, the interquartile range. And this means uh, that above, uh, outside these, uh, these uh, limits, uh, you can consider data as outlier. Okay, so first, you know, you have to define the IQR. Um, so how are we going to do that? Uh, well, we have to get to the first quarter and the third quarter. <coughs> so if we use summary, uh, and let's say, you know, first to try it out, let's say var is one variable, uh, which is numeric. So I'm just going to use it uh, as a day of units price, just, you know, to be able to, uh, to work with it. So here I can use the square brackets to get numbers out of this, uh, this line. Yeah. So if we're going to use the 5, we get the fifth number, which is the third quarter. Yeah. So think again, here we see quarter 3 minus quarter 1. So then uh, we can just use this minus quarter 2. Uh, and then we have to fill it out here. Well, I leave that up to you. So if you have done this, uh, then you get a, uh, a list. So let me now just, I'm just going to put here the, uh, the, the third quarter and the, sec uh, the first quarter, but you need to uh, do this. Uh, you need to fill out the formula here, right? Okay. So if I'm going to run this uh, function, now I will have this function in my environment. If I now say calculate limits, um, I can actually call my df unit price that I already wanted to analyze before and I'm going to get back a list and that you can see by these two brackets here. Yeah, so it's not one bracket but two brackets, this is the way how uh, lists work. So if we want to get the first uh, part, the first uh, part of this list, we just take two brackets here and then we get the first number uh, that is given. Yeah. 